it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm here today with my little Yorkie Ellie. She is, she had a bath today. She's all fluffy, she looks really pretty, and she got a pretty bow, so um, she is, she's just ready for the weekend. Happy Friday! Are you guys ready for the weekend? I hope you are. I know I am. So I'm just going to check here and look on my computer and make sure that um, we're actually going live like we're supposed to be. I always have to confirm and check. Okay, there we are. I see that it's coming through fine, and I, I'm praying that the reception is good through the whole time. Um, we we are just having fun here. The weather's really pretty. I, I don't know what the weather is in some of the other areas of the country. I hope you'll let me know um, how the weather's doing. But um, we're, we just have nice weather. We got some new windows at our house today. Yeah, we had a few new windows put in and oh boy, it makes a difference. It gets really warm out here in northern San Diego County. And um, we still had a few windows that were still the single pane. Um, and so we had them replaced today. And I'm really excited because I think it's going to make a big difference when the, when the really warm weather comes. Hi, Roz. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by today. So I hope you guys are looking forward to a nice weekend. Um, so I want to show you something fun that I got. It's, um, it's a small thing, but um, so I been wanting to put and I have put some happy mail stickers on uh, packages that I've sent out if you got gotten any packages from me you've probably gotten uh, hopefully in the recent month or so some happy mail stickers but they weren't very they were hard to read so I got a whole bunch of brand new happy mail stickers are those not so cute I'm just really excited to send out my first batch of packages, which I will be sending out on Monday. I'm going to be sending out my um, February class to go, and I'm so excited to put these um, great Happy Meal stickers on there. So I'm really looking forward to it. Okay. Christina Fisher, I'm so glad you're watching because you won the prize last week and I don't have your address. Please email me at Peggy at PrettyPaperCards.com so that I can send out your prize from last week. Um, and you're from Texas, so I know that much, but I don't want to send it just to Texas, so send me your address. And Roz, you're having roller coaster weather. Few days warm, few days chilly. Mm. Holly, thanks for liking my stickers. Yeah, I'm just super excited. So, um, Christina, you'll get a sticker when you um, when you when I get your address and I can send out your little package. Um, so great to see you guys on a nice Friday afternoon. So um, I want to remit now, Christina, you got a different gift, but the gift that I um, had people that I'm giving away today that I announced last week is this cool notebook, and I'm not going to say who won it until the end. So hang around till the end to see who wins this great Stampin' Up! notebook, okay? All right. Well, let's see what's going on, what's new um, that I have to announce. And they're not really new things. They're things that we know about, but I don't want you to miss out on. Hi, Eleanor. Good to see you. We're doing great. We're just doing great. Um, I think Ellie is ready to get down and go take her nap in her little bed. Did you guys see I posted a picture on Valentine's Day of Ellie in her um, her Valentine outfit on her pink leopard bed? I hope you got to see it. It's it's in the um, in, in the Facebook. Um, pictures, you know, on, on my page here. Tammy, good to see you. So scroll down and see her, if you didn't see it, her uh, in her pink leopard bed. That's where she's going right now, is to her pink leopard bed. <laughs> okay, announcements. The All Together, um, the All Together collection. So this is a great stamp set. Oh, let me get it right side up. I sometimes make that mistake. Okay, here we go. Um, the stamp set is here. This will be over here. This will be continuing into the next um, annual catalog period, so you can get the stamps later. These were sold as a collection, and 
several of them have already run out because they're so popular. It's called the Neutrals uh, Stampin' Blends Collection. Um, the collection will be available again. They're working on getting more. They have some of these, but not all of them. Um, so check that out if you want any of them. The Great Designer Series paper over here, um, that's still available and it will not be carrying over into the new catalog in May. And then the dies are available now and I don't think they're carrying over. I like to keep you posted. Thanks Kay, good to see you. Kay, I thought I had a note here someone, somewhere. Um, who was that note? Was it you Kay? Um, let me just check my note. No, it was Pam had a sick dog. I sometimes confuse the two of you because you're such faithful followers. So Pam had a sick dog and I want to make sure to ask her about that. Kay, you have a cat. You, you have a darling cat that you show all the time that I love. Okay, <clears throat> the next announcement is the Celebrate Today uh, magnet board kit that is currently online in my Stampin' Up! store. And this is fabulous. I've already gotten mine. I put it together. I did a little video that you might want to go back and see. It's on YouTube. Um, of how to how to do this. Um, here are some of the ingredients. The well, ingredients is a food name, but the items that come with the kit. It's a it's an actual magnet board in a frame, and you get that. You can put different backgrounds behind it. Uh, let's see here, and it comes with these little pockets that you put together with everything you need to put that cute magnet board together and. My George, yes, your cat. I love your cat. Okay. Um, and the one thing I love about this magnet board is you can put the cards that you make on it. You can you can stick those on with the magnets. So I really like that. And then another reminder: um, don't forget uh, only ten more days of celebration. So if there are any gifts that you want. Um, I'm going to use one today, but if there's anything you haven't gotten that you want, um, make sure to get it before the um, before the 28th of February when celebration is over. And the joining special, join my team, become a demonstrator. You don't have to demonstrate anything. You can you can just be a hobby demonstrator like many of my gals are. And I just love them. We have so much fun together, and you get a discount. That's the biggest thing. You get a discount on the products that you love. And right now during celebration with your starter kit, you get two extra stamp sets of your choice. So that's a really big deal. And I want you to make sure to get that. Okay, um, let's look at today's project, shall we? Today we're going to talk about masking. And let me get this going now. Here is the card we're gonna make. and. It, I've got it all pretty and flowers, but I'm going to show you the other masks and the things that you can do. So um, the, what, the one celebration item that this uses is the Special Moments, I think it's called. Yes, the Special Moments stamp set. And it has some really great sentiments, packed full of sentiments. Um, that you can get during celebration for a minimum $100 order before February 28th. And I've used that sentiment on this card and I, I really, really like it. I like all the sentiment, it's sentiments and it's nice to just bring one over. Now hold on, something dropped. I have to pick it up. A couple of papers. Okay, got it. So we're going to start with our card base. Our standard card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And let me just get my clone folder out here and just score that little baby. And then what we're going to do, we're going to bring out um, the big stamp and cut and emboss machine, the Mr. Big, we call it. Um, I call it. And the reason I'm going to bring it out is because I'm going to emboss both of these pieces of cardstock. This is soft succulent, and it's cut at four by five and a quarter. And this is a piece of polished pink. We're going to use it behind our um, our masked piece, and this is two and a half by five. I have my trusty ruler. 
and we're going to Emboss, dry emboss both of these in the new gingham embossing folder and one thing I want to tell you is thank you Holly this embossing folder is <clears throat> an item that the item that I'm giving as my free gift to you this month if you place a $50 order in my online store so I kind of wanted to show it off in addition to the fact that I really like it <clears throat> and so let's get going <clears throat> it's very dry here a lot of people are having trouble with their skin because it's so dry here right now. So this is, we could also call it Big Bertha. Very large. Um, not too large, it's just large for underneath the, the camera. So we can look on, <clears throat> on the base plate, number one, and it tells us what to do for an embossing folder that is a standard embossing folder. And the gingham one is, it's not a 3D, it's a standard embossing folder. And it says here that we use plate number one, which we have in, and our two number three plates. These are the clear plates. And they have number three on them. Can you see that? So what I'm going to do, I put one in, and then I'm going to put, um, start with my soft succulent piece, and put that. go ahead and put that in the gingham embossing folder, just like that. And we're going to run that through put plate, the other plate number three on top. I see that there is a little bit of, um, a little issues with the streaming. It cleared up the other day, so just hang tight and it'll clear up. Okay, so this is our first piece. Let's check it out because I want you to see this pretty pattern on the embossing, on the paper. And there it is. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that just, it's a little different than I thought what I thought gingham would be, <coughs> but I really like it. And then we're going to go ahead and put in the polished pink piece, and we'll run that through. <coughs> so sorry. I mean, on our little, we have a thermometer here on our patio, and it reads the humidity. I think it's not that expensive, but it's been saying zero humidity. And I think that's true. Okay, so here's our polished pink piece, and this is how the embossing folder looks on polished pink. Isn't it pretty, Christina? I really like it. Okay, now we're gonna set this aside for a bit. We're gonna use it later um, to cut something. But right now we've got we've got our um, soft succulent piece. And we can go ahead and glue that down right now with our multi-purpose glue. And then we're going to start our masking. Now, as far as the sides of, of the embossed piece, they both look very similar. I don't really know the difference. So I don't think it really matters which, which side you choose to lay down and, and which side to face upward. So we're just going to put that right on the front of our card. Oh, and you know, I forgot, I'm sorry, that I gave a wrong measurement for this soft succulent piece. I've been starting to use just, to leave just an eighth of an inch. Um, so it's actually five and three eighths, no, no, five and, you know what, it's five and a half less than eight. That's how I have to say it. And four and a quarter less than eight, so four and an eighth. Um, that's the only way I can I can say it. It's too complicated, and my little brain doesn't want to think about that. Okay, so now we're ready to start our embossing. I mean, excuse me, our um, masking. And what I want to show you, these are new. We've always had um, masks in our annual catalog, but some new ones, they gave us some new ones this year. They're called Butterflies and Flowers Layering Decorative Masks. And one reason I want to show them is because they're only $10 for the whole package. It's an inexpensive way to make beautiful cards. And that's why I tell you the news and the announcements at the beginning, because I like you to know how to save money on your favorite products. So these are the masks that come. And I'm just going to set this aside so I can show you. This is the one we're going to use today, the flower one. And then there is... These are just whole flowers without all the intricacies inside. This one is very pretty. It's lots of flowers. 
um, this one is it, it's a different flowers almost with a with a kind of point at the bottom this is leaves and I really like this one this one does get caught on a few things um, see how those leaves go in a in a linear pattern and you could turn it sideways so you could get a real pretty a wavy mask on that and then this is the butterflies isn't that pretty this is gorgeous this one I don't know if you can totally see it let's see maybe if I put this little white piece behind there can you see that isn't that gorgeous these masks are so nice I really like them so today the one I chose to use of course is the flowery one with the pretty detailed flowers okay and I am putting it on um, a little mat from my um, a, a small mat so that uh, from the Stamparatus because we're gonna do some blending with our blending brushes now the let me see actually I did get out my catalog to show you where the masks are in the catalog in the annual catalog in case you wanted to look them up here they are they're on page 128 decorative masks um, decorative masks yeah five number five the decorative masks. no and eight I think that's it yeah the decorative masks no they're only eight dollars that may not be the ones I'm thinking of those are not the right ones here I here I showed you something that's not the right ones they must be in the uh, in the mini so I will get that for you and I'll post it down below okay let's get started today I'm gonna use cherry cobbler ink we usually think of this as a uh, Christmas type of color cherry cobbler but it really works good when blending and the one thing I like when you're blending is that when you have a dark ink you can get a much darker look and a lighter look and the, the flowers I'm using today are these right here this grouping of four flowers so I'm going to put I have cut this piece of basic white cardstock at four and a quarter by three and a half and I'm going to put that under my flowers and I'm gonna just hold it there and then I'm gonna take my blending brush and I'm gonna tap it a little bit on the ink and I'm gonna just start blending now what we can do is we can tap off a little bit kind of like stamping off but then I'm gonna start in the center of my flowers and work outward and that gives I think a prettier look because the center of the flower then becomes dark so I'm going to try that again over here on this other big flower. Okay, and we're just going in a circular pattern. You can actually, you could just do anything you want. I want this one to be a little bit darker. I, I really like it when it has that good shading. I'm, I'm just adding more ink as I go through. And now we'll add a little more ink. I'm not I'm not uh, tapping off for these. I just want to get them a little bit darker. Ooh, that one got a dark leaf. But you know what? It's going to look pretty afterward. I'll show you. Look at how pretty that looks. Even where it was dark, it looks very nice. And <clears throat> I'm going to use this one. This was our first one, kind of our practice one. I'm going to use this because I'm going to cut a flower out of this later. Now we're going to go ahead and do the official one that's going to go on the front of the card. And what I want to do this time is I'm going to go on the edges like this because I want to try to get the whole, the mask on the whole card. So I'm going to try to, <clears throat> we're going to do it several times so that we get all over. <clears throat> and those dark spots do not matter at all because they just give it more personality. You just ordered them, Pam. Can't wait to get them so you can play. Good. So Pam, how is your dog? You, you're the one who said, I saw that there was something wrong with your your little poodle. Tell us about it. Is, is your little dog okay? I, I get really concerned about pets. Okay, see how nice that looks? It's very forgiving. And now there's a little mark here from, um, but we're just gonna go right over it. That happens when you're masking. But it's totally okay because we're just gonna go right over that and we're gonna try to mask this whole piece. 
She's feeling better, but still weak. Oh, I'm so sorry, Pam. Take good care of her. I know you will. Things like that make me sad. Okay, so this is getting very pretty. You see how pretty this is getting? And now let's see. We're going to try to get in a little close and get in there. We're going to be covering part of the front with our sentiment and everything, so we don't need to worry that much, but I want to try to uh, cover a lot of it. These masks are easy, they're quick, and I think they have a really um, a really neat, neat look. Isn't that looking great? Now I think I'm going to put a little bit of a flower right down here in this corner, just to kind of fill in the corner like that, and maybe we'll do that same thing over on this corner. And that one's a little darker. And we could put a little leaf in here, or rather a corner of a flower right in there. Just like that. See how cute that is and see how easy it is? I mean, it's just like almost, you want to say, a no-brainer. It's so easy. We're just going to fill up the outside mostly. Um, let's put a few more little petals right in there. Easy peasy, right? And this is going to be covered. Um, we're going to be covering this by our sentiments, so we're not going to worry. And then all you do, you can use a wet one to clean your mask. Uh, actually, what, the best thing what I do is go and put it under the sink and just run cold water on it and no problem. For right now, I'm going to set it just on a Kleenex off to the side so that um, I don't get it on myself. <laughs> And so we're going to close up our, that's all we need with our cherry cobbler ink and our blender pens. So we're going to set those off to the side. And now let's look back at our sample card and see where we're going. So this is our sample card. And this is the piece that we just did, that we just masked. And I think, isn't that, you see what I mean? Isn't it just so pretty? So now what we're ready to do is we're ready to put on the pink piece, the polished pink piece that we masked, and this piece on top of it. I think that just gives a nice little more color by having the polished pink. Oh, you, Pam, Pammy, you call her Pammy. Okay, okay, got it. So now what we wanna do is we want to adhere this onto our polished pink, and we're gonna use some Stampin' Dimensionals in here about five because we do want it to adhere pretty well just in the center like that and let me just take off these little covers what are you guys doing this weekend let me know what your plans are i like to hear okay now we're going to set this on and the, the goal is to have it even all around and there we go and then we're ready to raise this up also on dimensionals on top of the soft succulent. Doesn't that look pretty? I really think it does. So again, we're gonna go with about five dimensionals here. Maybe, maybe we'll go for six. Because we do want it to stick on, but I hate to use so many. I try not to use too many, but I feel like this just kind of needed it. So here we go, and again, we're going to try to get this centered right on the card, just like that. And that is a nice base for any card that you're going to make. Oh, thanks, Trudy. Hi, Trudy. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate your sharing. Okay, now, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to just do, a. there are no dies or anything, but we're going to just do a little bit of fussy cutting. Um, I want to cut out one center of this flower right here and to use it to pop up on our sentiment. So I'm just going to go in there and cut around it so that I can um, I can trim it a little bit easier. And then I'm just going to trim around this center section. And it's pretty easy because these white lines are showing and it just takes one second but I think it gives a nice little accent to have another one of these flowers uh, popping up. Let me see here. Let's see. Okay, let me think. 
think about it. I'm kind of thinking I might go in to in here because there there's some a little overlap of something sticking on there. So I'm going to cut down just a little bit here to this layer. Just like that. I mean, you can do anything you want. You've got all kinds of flowers that you can choose from here. Let's move that off. And there's our cute little flower. Isn't that darling? So let's go ahead now and stamp our sentiment. Sue, good to see you. Thank you for watching from Ohio. All right, so we're gonna use, like I mentioned, we're going to use the sentiment from the Special Moments stamp set that's available just during celebration. And we're gonna use this one, Thanks for Brightening Up My Day. And I've got it already out and on my block. And we're gonna use um, a soft succulent because that's kind of our theme, a soft succulent and pink, a pink look. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and stamp this. And I didn't need to stamp it straight because I'm going to cut it out with a die. And it kind of seems appropriate. We're using soft succulent, the color, and we're going to cut this piece out with a die from the potted succulents die set. What I like about this set, among other things, is that it has two different label, uh, label, inter you know, complementary labels. And I, they could layer, and you can also use them individually. And I think they're great labels. I really do. Wendy, good to see you from Portland. So I'm going to use this particular die here. And we're going to put it right, we're just going to cut it out just like that. So now I need to bring back in, maybe we're going to call her Big Bertha now. Okay, I'm going to bring her back in, and I want to do it so you can see. And now we need to return um, our number two plate. So we have one, two, and three when we're cutting dies. These Stampin' Up! Cut and Emboss machines are fabulous. I'm sorry if I bumped the camera a little bit. And for some reason, the die is curling up a little bit. Could be the heat, I don't know. So let me see if I can get it evened out there. We'll, let's see. I, I hope it looks going to look good. Okay, here we go. Run that through the machine. And it really does, it's an easy machine to work. It, it runs through very smoothly. And there is our sentiment. Let's see how it looks now. A little crooked, but you know what? I think it'll work. Let me put the machine back. Okay, so here we are with our card. Here we have our sentiment, and we're going to cover that blank space that we had there. And we've got our cute little flower that we cut out to go on there. Now the other thing we're going to add is, I think our flower needs some leaves, don't you? I love this new bow punch, B-O-U-G-H, bow. And I've got some strips of soft succulent, and I think I've shown you this before, but what I really like um, Wendy, good to see you from Portland. What I really like about this punch is that I'm going to hold it a little closer. Do you see this line that goes down right there? This side uh, punches out some little um, kind of like seed pods, which could you could use as leaves or with leaves. This is the leaf over here. And I like that because I can just slide my paper in and I know where I am because of that line. And so I'm going to punch out three le leave, leaves. Um, they're not really leaves. Three. I'm just going to say three punches, okay? Because they're stems with leaves, actually. And I've got another piece of paper, a strip to go ahead and put in there, just like that. So now I have my my three stems of leaves. Get those crumbs away. And we want to put those <clears throat> kind of like that. So they're kind of coming up. They give a little, a nice little addition to the card, I think, don't you? You just got that punch about 10 minutes ago? Oh my gosh, that's great, Kay. I'm so glad you're gonna really like it. Hi, Robin, good to see you. 
Okay, so this is kind of the way I want it to look. And let's see, I think what I'll do is I think I'm actually going to glue the leaves to the back of my um, sentiment piece. So let's give that a try. I'm going to put some glue on the back of my sentiment piece where I want the leaves to be. And I'm going to actually trim the little stems just a little bit so nothing sticks out below the sentiment where I want it to be. Okay, and then I'm going to just begin to place the leaves where I want them. Kind of like that. That's a good one. And it's adhering. And then another one. Let's go up a little higher on that one. And then we'll have this one. Okay, then I'll tip it over and we'll just make sure everything is sticking. And it is. And we're just gonna leave that like that for a second and, until it kind of sets up. And here's our card base. Now while that's happening, I'm gonna tie a little bow. On the other card, I used some pale, um, pale papaya ribbon. And on this one, I, I liked it at first, and then I thought, well, why am I using that? It does, Hi, Diane. It doesn't really go with the theme of the card, so I'm gonna use some soft succulent, this pretty open weave ribbon, and I'm gonna tie a bow, and we're just gonna tuck it in under the sentiment. I'll show you in a minute, as soon as I get this bow tied here. Okay, let's start again. Loop over and pull the loop through. There we go. And this one is going to have short short tails, a little bow with short tails, because we want it to be a little delicate bow to just fit in the corner with that flower that we cut out. And so we just adjust it. Just adjust your bows until you get them the way you want them to be. Okay, like that. And then I'm just going to snip off the edges, the little ends. Actually, I'm going to get my bigger scissors. They do a better job. Stampin' Up! used to sell these scissors, and I really liked them. And then they discontinued them. I, I don't know why. But they're great for ribbon. Absolutely great. Okay, now we have all of our components, our pieces, parts, to finish our card. So we're going to get out our uh, Stampin' Dimensionals again and put them on the back of our sentiment. And one thing I like to do, I don't know about you guys, I like to put a dimensional right on top of a place where I've glued things because it's an extra protection that they're going to stay right where I put them, okay? And I think those two dimensionals will hold that sentiment up. So let's go ahead and just put this right here. I'm going to bring it down a little so the leaves don't pop up over the card. Maybe I'll come a little to the right. That always adds a bit of interest. And now what happened to our flower? There it is. And see what I mean about how that flower just looks kind of cute right in there? So we're going to give that a dimensional also. But what I'm going to do is be very careful to put the dimensional on one edge so that it doesn't, um, it doesn't go on to this or it'll bring it up a layer and I don't want it up that high. So I've got the dimensional right down there, and I'm going to just move this, move the little flower up until I can feel the dimensional touch the label, and then I'm going to put it in like that. And then we have our little bow, and let's see, I think I might put it just kind of like that. I think I might need to trim the ends just a bit more. Thank you, Diane. Let's see. Trim off those little ends just a bit more, and then we're going to use some um, mini glue dots to adhere our our little bow. Let me get some things out of the way here. It might just take one to put on the back here, and then we'll tuck it right up in there a little bit so that you can still see the the bow, the uh, flower. So that looks a little different than the previous one, but I, I like it. I could have put the bow down under, but I'm just going to leave it there. 
And then to finish off, I'm going to add some classic, these classic matte, matte dots are new in the mini catalog. And the nice thing about them is, is there's a variety. You've got white, very vanilla, gray, and black. So for any needs that you have. So I'm going to use the larger of the white ones. And I'm going to put one right in there just for interest on the sentiment. And let's see, I'll put one kind of up in here. Just scatter them around. And I think I'll put one down here. So there's our card, and here's our sample. This is how it looked with the pale papaya ribbon, and I tucked the ribbon a little down, down further. Thank you, Pam. I really like this card, and I think it's a nice thank you card. The sentiment is great. Thanks for brightening up my day is a nice uh, thank you sentiment for almost anything. And um, now you've learned how to mask with those decorative masks. Oh, I was going to look those up for you, and then we'll, we'll award the prize. Um, let me see if I can find them here. Looking, looking. Here they are. Here they are. They're in the mini catalog. They're on page 65, and they're, they're only $10. I had found the wrong masks. Here they are right here. And it shows you, there are the flowers we use today, over here, and here's the butterfly. So now you know where to get them. Christina, thank you. Thank you, Wendy. Okay, let's award our prize for today. I'm gonna come back. Um, okay, so this was really a great prize. And I ordered a couple more, so we might have these again for prizes another time. But um, it's this wonderful um, Stampin' Up! notebook with a coil, you know, um, binding. And it's really neat with their beautiful flowers on it. And we had quite a few that wanted this prize, both on YouTube and on Facebook. And I did the random number generator, and the winner is Marsha Long. I haven't seen her in here today, but um, she's popped in many times. And so, Marsha, when you um, see this, be sure you write me with your address because I know I don't have your address, and I'll need it to send this. And I'll give you two weeks. So today's the 18th, so it'll be the first Thursday in March, which probably would be March 4th, um, to claim your prize and let me know your address. And if you don't, it goes back into the pot for another time. So be sure you claim your prizes, girls. If you say you want a prize, be sure that you want a prize, be sure to watch the following week. Um, like whether if it's Wednesday, watch the following Wednesday to see if you win. Because I do have some prizes that are um, just kind of that nobody claims. And I want to give you these great prizes. Okay, um, thank you all for stopping by. Happy Friday. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And get some stamping done. That's always fun. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.